NCRP Productions presents Torg Eternity by Ulysses Spiel. The Brefni Crown, Episode 12. Moving forward, we would like to give you a content warning. Tharkold and other realities are places where very bad things happen to good people. Acts and situations in this podcast may trigger those who suffer from trauma caused by sexual assault, torture, slavery, and violence. Please, Listener discretion is advised. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Greg, and I want to welcome you to a Sunday of Possibility, our tour game. At this point, I'd like to have our players introduce themselves, and let's start from the right this time. Hello, everybody. This is David. I am playing V, the gunslinger from the Cyber Papacy. (laughs) This is Victoria. I am playing Ayara Bay, the elf necromancer from Isle. Hey, it's Barry. I am running Max Elite, the freedom fighter from Tharkold. And this is Shan. I am playing Azrael, the cyber witch from the cyber papacy. This is Tori. I'm playing Evangeline Francis, the monster hunter from Arorsh. Sweet. So last week when we let off, can somebody give us a quick recap of what occurred? I can't. I was too drunk. (laughs) (laughs) I was also drunk. Um, We... (laughs) <laughs> well, I'm trying to read because my first like three bullet points are just like reminders from like eight weeks ago. Um, so we have the memorial services. We have a memorial <laughs> service. Everybody besides like what two of us get hammered. We not pre- at the memorial service. Yeah, after, after, right? after, 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 you want to have at least that the, after the service. celebration of life. The memorial so, service. A lot of drinking. Uh, <laughs> we brief our next mission, which is to infiltrate the Statue of Liberty. We got word that the statue fell. And our timeline for this mission has been moved up. We're going to go to Toronto first and then make our way into Ellis Island. We heard that the Statue of Liberty is being taken over by nature. But we're on our way to Vermont before we go over. Yeah, yeah we're to go southeast. To Vermont. Did I say Virginia? No, no you, you said straight to Ellis Island. Straight yeah, you, Island. you, you said Toronto straight to Ellis. Oh, but yeah, yeah, Vermont in the yeah, middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was and then we met with Diana Crow, who's in wheelchair, and then she commanded respect, and then she told us what to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you respect me! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Respect by authority. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we fly to Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> Think coat factory. Uh, yeah. We learned about the Adinos. The dinosaur people, and then like all the, all the animals, all the plants, and all the sea creatures are a lot bigger and scarier than they were pre- the living land breeds them big. Yeah, I was going to say colonization. <laughs> and they're all out to get us. I wasn't drunk for that part. Yes, yeah, they are all, yeah, out to all out to get us. The land There's is also out to get us. Really low tech and ma- magic. Which is what There's, drives all of <laughs> them. The Red Jaws are like the main tribe. And Baruch Ka is the leader of that tribe for this area. And all the people are like tribal clans. as a, Like normal congregations of people went away. And it's like a prehistoric people yes so the human beings live as primitive humans yeah mm-hmm. flesh eating giant plants i wrote that down <laughs> yeah we uh, need to also, avoid the jersey yeah. jersey Jer- tunnel and, and avoid times time square. square yes and That's- the statue of liberty what it has been taken over but it's also the, the arm torch. with the torch has been broken off and we think that the the next shard is in there do we think it's in there or do we think it's on the island no it wasn't sp- I think they said it was in the statue or somewhere. It's on Ellis Island. We, we think it's on Ellis Island. The majority of Ellis closer. Island is the statue. The statue. Right. Mm-hmm. And Diana Crow said to infiltrate the Statue of Liberty and locate the Brefni yes. Shard. Yeah. yeah, search the statue remains for the shard and then figure out why the statue fell. Yes, because it's a hard point that Co- fell. Mm-hmm. Core Earth. Core Earth. And that's an interesting thing we didn't think about last week. There's a shard there. Usually that has some connection to all of this possibility, <coughs> energy, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, it does. Uh, maybe the shards are not in the right places. Maybe there's something I've, I've been thinking about. Maybe the shard for, say, Isle is actually in the uh, Living, Land. Living Lands area, right? Because you would think that the shard for the Living Lands would be more powerful for the Living Lands, that type of thing. Oh, actually goes exactly what I was thinking the other direction. There would be more power there. Okay, all right. So you don't think it's the wrong I think I've been thinking very wrong in the way I was thinking very right, but I was wrong. (laughs) So you think the shard is the the living land shard? I think the living land shard could be the reason why, or at least it helped bring it down quicker. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Yeah, why the hard point fell. 
something I blather through as we take the helicopter ride. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, where did we leave off on the helicopter ride? We, we were discussed approaching, not jumping out. <laughs> we are not jumping out, and we are approaching the, the reality storm to enter into the it was, movie. It lines. was roiling and growing. It wasn't and coming towards us. Yeah, it wasn't calm like when we went into calm. It wasn't <laughs> calm like when we were going into aisle. It actually looks like it's coming to attack us. And right. we split up the liquid courage. Oh, yes. yes. Because we learned from our last flight. <laughs> yes. The Felis Felixes. <laughs> yes. When no, that's liquid luck, not liquid courage, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter reference? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> this is real, Greg. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Get back in the tour. <laughs> so, as we left, everyone looks out, seeing the reality storm. You're familiar with one before at the border of Isle, but this one is different. This one is like <clears throat> a class 5 hurricane reality storm that's building up speed and coming directly at you. Dislike. So at this point, it's like, you know, the, the, the choppers and the pilots are like, it's like, quickly, do we go through? Do we continue? Do we turn? I go straight into it. Why is he fucking Roger. Well, why are you I, 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 Aren't you the pilot? <laughs> this is not the question. Like, I have been into this before. We, didn't we discuss the fact that in the Living Lands, its stuff turns into very much not the tech that it is? Oh, that's right, right, right. right turn, 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 tur
Oh, that looks much better already. <laughs> 13. Okay, so perfect. Everyone made that one. Now, who's going to attempt B? Is, so is that also it's still mine? mine? So, no, B is going to be a difficulty number 10 for reality to avoid being disconnected while you're in the reality storm. If you attempt it this round, though, it's a minus two penalty, so it'll be a difficulty number 12. Okay. I only have a, an 11 reality, and does our realm runner help? That's that's disconnect. That's if you disconnect. Yeah, I only have I 11. Have a 10 so in reality. Now, now remember, you can attempt it. If you no, fail, so the it, next turn, you, if it's just B, you can still okay, try again. Ignore yeah. four points of reality penalties and ignore disconnection the first time. Boom! So yeah, to be straight difficulty number ten. All right. So either one of us can do it. Ten, because this says ignore four points of reality penalties. It's a uh, so there's only since you're attempting oh, it. Your 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 penalty yeah, yeah. is two. Correct. So it's right. ten reality. Yep. Can two of us try it? It's going to be everybody. Oh okay. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. But if you have Realm Runner, it's a ten penalty, not a two penalty or twelve penalty. It's only a ten. You have figure. to make a ten. Yes. Okay. Definitely yeah. number ten. Told you guys, Realm Runner is going to be good <laughs> for you. <laughs> okay. Something is up with my dice. Yeah, I'm. I'm me too. So it was just so at me today. yesterday. Just so I remember. You go to the bonus chart, you add the one from the bottom to what your overall number is. Yeah, that's whatever. correct. Yes. Right, I got a 16. Okay. I have a 14. 16. All right. <laughs> These are people used to... Which, oh, yeah. yeah. Mine is... All right. Which should mean you, sh you need... all the You two should need a minimum of 11 to make it. Yeah, that's what I got with an 11. But yeah. you made it. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> okay, so everyone made it. Barely on that so A and B are done. A and yes. B are done. Four cars get C and D. And so what you guys feel right now is boom, just the, the reality storm hit. You guys had to refocus yourself not to panic. And then all of a sudden you can just feel that reality rip in you. And I mean, not even feeling the living land, but just all reality as this maelstrom of reality storms just tearing at you you had to just ground yourself in your own reality to maintain your own identity and this next one is going to be C on board nice. yes. now are we as we're going through this most if not all of us have been through multiple storms we've all been through Isle mm -hmm. but then also going into Tharkold I thought there was something there was a, there. my question is this does this feel different not just because of the living lands but you had discussed last time that there were remnant realities within the living lands right. are we getting a different feeling than just we're coming into a not, singular reality. Not getting anything specific like that. Okay. What you are getting, though, is this is not the reality storm that sits over where realities collide. This reality storm is like it's actively pushing itself out. So that's the difference. So all of a sudden, when you know that after you just kind of regrounded yourself, you can hear the alarms blaring, and then you can look up. You know, as you glance up front, the two pilots are trying desperately to kick control of the vehicle, and you can feel yourself just start spinning. So C is going to be a maneuver test in order to be able to stay with the spin and not cause any damage. You're looking for a difficulty number of twelve. Now, is this all of us having to do this, or is one of us hopping up and holding the stick? With all us? of you are because you're all trapped in this. So okay. this is an end. Individual dramatic resolution. Otherwise, we will be injured. Yes. Okay. Or potentially. And you said maneuver? Maneuver. Oh, Lord. Sweet. 16. 16? Evangeline's good? We need a 10? Yeah, 12. <laughs> <laughs> 16. That's our pile of. Yep. Okay. 16. 16, good. We all apparently held on to the same cord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, these dice are not being good to me. First one 17. 17. So everyone just, you know, just like holding tight and just kind of learning to go with that spin. Then all of a sudden you hear the pilots just kind of come across their intercom through your earphones. It's like, brace yourselves, we're going down. Oh, and so you can just start feeling the plummet of the helicopter going down. Last one is a D. Now what does it actually come up? A, B, and C. Oh, jeez. Why did that start? <laughs> <laughs> so as everyone just like hears that, emo you know, just hears that first call over the air and just that moment to realize you're in the midst of a helicopter crash. Oh, and so right now the pilots are not trying to fly. They're just trying to minimize the damage as you guys are just going down and just feeling that centrifugal force whoop you around trying to keep your head from getting whiplash. So I'm going to throw out with telepathy. 
hold on, everyone, hold on. You're try, trying to calm people. So everyone, so you guys in your mind, you know, hear that? Just hold on, hold on. B- bit panicked, but... Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we have t- two rounds left to achieve D. Yes. Ah. Well, so, don't ah yet. We haven't made the right, word. Right, yeah. <laughs> so but at as, least it's on the card. So we have like, a chance. The opening, as you start looking, you can see that ground coming up just awfully fast. This is going to be a very difficult dodge to avoid taking damage. It's going to be a DN of 15. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, so far, my first roll has not yet been over a seven. Jeez, <laughs> that's why I swapped out my dice. Yeah. Is it 15? I've gone 15. through five dice. They all suck today. 15 dodge. I have no chips. Um, oh, I Jesus. have a seven. I rolled a 17, but that doesn't give me enough. Wait, what's that? That's a 10, right? Right. I have minus one. Like, I, I'm short. So oh, you're short. What, you're rolling right? a 17 gives me a plus four, and my dodge is 10. So I need one. One. <laughs> okay. I have to use that for a whole. I'm at 16. So you got 16? 30? Yes. Evangeline's going to be good. I got 20. 20? Yeah. <laughs> 15 exactly. Just made it, so only Max got yep. a 7. Yep. So all of a sudden, you guys are just kind of coming around, and you, you just, everyone's see brace for impact. And about that time, you see that ground just kind of rushing up. Boom! As a copter just lands down to the ground. So Max, you are going to... What is your toughness? Toughness of 11. Toughness of 11. Let me look at the falling damage. Total velocity plus helicopter speed. <laughs> <laughs> so it is going to be beat you by 9 plus bonus dice, so 13. That's 13 bad. is going to be 2 wounds for shock. <laughs> 2 wounds for shock. And you are out of possibilities, huh? Oh yeah. So you couldn't even soak. Nope. <laughs> nope. I just hit the hit the ground hard. How much did you take? Two wounds, four shots. Oh, man. So as boom, you can just hear the rotors just ground into the earth. Just big dust kind of comes up. You can all of a sudden just you know feel some sort of spray across your bodies. You can just smell the chemicals, and, and you can start smelling smoke, seeing flickers of Flow. flames lick in between the big dust cloud that's going on. And what do you guys do? Everybody get out now. It's going to blow. Yep. 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 Run, my, run, run. my adrenaline is fired up. I, I don't even know that I have the injuries yet. So, so you're, yeah. Max is, get out. Get out. Get, get out, out. Get out. Go. Get as far from this as you can. So Specifically, everyone, Iara, this will explode because I can smell the gas and everything. Mm-hmm. So everyone needs to make a maneuver to be able to unbuckle themselves and get out. It's going to be just a standard difficulty 10. Any chance that part of the reason I got damaged is I was thrown out of the seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> I have no possibilities. I'm already at minus two. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It was a 10, right? You just, I got Difficulty 10. Okay, Nine. 11. Oh, no! These dice are not where I cannot roll over. It's been like a the brutal time. night. Eight. Eight. Seventeen. Seventeen. So, with the two of you, you're able to guys get out, and then when you take a quick assessment, you see that they are not with you. I gotta go back yeah, in. I'll go try unbuckle to grab our seatbelts. Yeah. So, what we're going to do? We got, the, we got the child lock on. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> we're jam stuck in there now. This going to move us to another dramatic resolution. <laughs> 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 So, first one's going to be a difficulty only of eight because mind test, you got to reorient and find out who's missing. Okay. Okay. B, there's no. Do a. I have to roll it since I'm the one who's missing? No, the, these two. Okay. We I was like, why do rolling. I have to roll about okay. who's missing? So, we're not even going to roll on this card because there's no, no A. No A on this one. All right. Done that Next card. So, hopefully there's an A. Four more. Hopefully there's an A and a B. No. Well, I have no idea. I can't see it from here. There's it's no just, A. It's B and C. Nice All right. B and C. Come on. Nice one, so, you guys. Round three, critical problem. Oh, is there God. an A? <laughs> or is that the whole thing? There's no letter. So as you're kind of assessing and start, you know, moving in, all of a sudden, poof, flames just kind of start going up right now. Nice knowing you guys. Damn. So <laughs> I was just the first character. Okay, there. so I am gonna switch. <laughs> I'm not just trying to go in there. I've I light up the the slashers and I'm gonna tear into the side of the chopper. Okay, so before you do that, mm-hmm. for dramatic resolutions, there's one thing that we can do. So I'm just looking this up real quick. I apologize. No, you're fine. So there's two rounds left. Okay. Now, you can attempt to wait and try to get them done. Or right now, you can go ahead and claim just an all-out, last-ditch effort. 
last ditch effort is at whenever you claim this, you can attempt to try all actions <laughs> with a minus two penalty for each one after the first. Oh god. Neither of us have possibility tokens. Right, I know. Now, however, this is one where you guys, it's not everyone's rolling, it's a team. So everyone can roll to add, or they can just Just assist and add plus one. All right, so I'm in. I'm in, in, yeah. Last ditch effort. Yeah. (laughs) So, yeah. All right. So, drop the claws. Is it just those two rolling? So, one person's rolling for the group. Yep. Everyone else can decide to roll and add, and that bonus. add their bonus to yeah. it. It could be a negative. Or right. the negative, depending on the roll. Right. And do they get to choose before the primary rolls? What do you mean? You like if I'm going to roll, do you choose? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, so before you roll, you have to say, I'm going to roll Got or I'm going to add the plus one. All right. So what's the first thing we're doing? First yeah. one is mind at only difficulty eight. All right, I'm, I am going to help you for plus one. Okay. You guys, you guys can help do? for plus one, plus too. Plus one. Okay. So you guys, they're hollering from inside the chopper. We're in here, we're in here. Exactly. I'm going, chopper, chopper, chopper. Chopper. Get right. through the chopper. Okay, I have a plus three on top of whatever. Yes. There yes. we go. We start. You made it. You needed an eight. 23. Yeah, I super made it because it's nine plus... 13, so 20, 22 plus two. 3, 25. Is that yeah. absolutely no problem? You orient yourself, you find out what's going on. This next one, B, and it's going to be, nor- it would have been at 10, but now it's going to be at 12. 12. Yeah. I like negative 12. <laughs> yeah, I like <laughs> that. That's easy. That's fine. It's a mind roll to overcome the fear because you're running to something that's in flames. Okay. Okay. I'll do that again. So hold up. So it's a 12. No, nope, I'm going to add plus 1. Well, plus favored one. fear rules for an hour. So, so oh, okay. And so it's like fav- it's going to be for favored. So if you fail, you the can roll, roll again. again. And, but it, I have to take the second. Are you but you one, have to take the second. Plus yeah, one. plus one. Okay. All right. So three. You got plus three to the roll okay. after. Eighteen plus three, so twenty-one. Twenty-one, no problem. And so you like see the flames, just feel that heat coming off you, but realize your friends are in there. You guys both just kind of rush in, and this last one is going to be a maneuver to be able to, to get the, uh, everything off, and it's going to be difficulty fourteen because it's plus two. Okay, My so it's a fourteen. Eleven. So here's where I'm at. I'm the same as you, but with my wounds, it's minus two more, so it would be okay, sixteen so. for me. Right. So. Basically, I, like, you're yelling at me where to go. I'm just shredding at this point. Okay. I'm not even thinking. Plus what are you, so what are we so doing? Plus one. Plus one. Plus, plus one. one. We need a 14 for you, and yeah, sure. your base is an eight, which means that you got to get at 19. least a 19, 18. Well, are we allowed to roll? Or are they rolling? You can, so you can roll you, to help me or just right. do a plus one. But if you roll a two, okay. you're it, minus 80. Well, to I was because yeah. I was like, they're maneuvering. I was like, okay. yeah. Well, so oh, is your maneuver good? Yeah, it's 11. So you can roll it will be the, and, yeah. you, you and be the add. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're, you're using primary. it, you just, but you just add. So you're, you're inside, you're directing through here, we're in this side. I can see the claws coming through. I can't reach the button. So, <laughs> yeah, so this is one where you know you as a team can determine who has the best maneuver. Well, if you guys all have one, you'd have a four. You, you have a base 14. Plus a three, yeah. You have a base 14 as long as you've got to roll a 15 poorly, or better. You're the, you do, should make the roll. Do yeah, you have chips? I do have one. Absolutely she has one chip. You roll. Add one. One from me. You got one from One. That's a, two. That's a two. That's a start. Mine's That's eight. a start. I now use your chip. Yeah. It's so, going to be a this, base of 10 at least. So two. it's going to be 12 <laughs> at minimum. Yeah. 19. There you go. There so we that's, go. That's a 21. 21. We made it. Eight. Yeah. So eight, so, so 19, 19, and three is 21. 21. So, yep, through, just through everyone, you just, yep, I mean, just, you can see the knife just coming, ripping off, you guys are clear. And so right now, the flames are starting to get hotter. Let's everyone needs to make a dodge to get out a of dodge? here. Not everyone. So one person needs to make the dodge roll to get everyone away before it explodes. So my, my net is a nine, because I'm normally 11. My current value is 10. You're better than me. Yep. Mine's okay. 11, but I'll let you roll so, because my dice is not being nice <laughs> So awesome. now, this is going to be, so it's negative 6. It's a 16 DN that you need to make. She still has the highest roll. We're going to have our ass hairs burned off. <laughs> <laughs> as long as that's all there is, I'll, I'll, I'll go shaving for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, nice roll again. There we that go. Nope, plus 3. Oh, so... 13, 4, so do I add my plus 3 to this roll or the after? The plus 3 is the after, right? Okay. Yes. So that's 13, which is plus 1, which is what, did you say dodge? Yep. Yeah. yeah. That's 12, 11, right? 12, 13, 14. So we're 14. <laughs> oh. 14. <laughs> Anybody? Nobody has any possibilities, right? What are those right there? I don't there? think I can These participate spent in this. Oh, okay. No, no, those, those are spent. not there. So again, out, and everyone's just trying to leave...
You got a great explosion, a helicopter explosion. This is awesome. I want to see who makes out of this one. I'm pretty beat already. I guess this is going out better than having our tongues cut off. <laughs> okay, so. I wonder how much damage that exploded. Well, we, we got out. You guys, so you so guys are yeah. out. Listen, how far we got. Smack into a tree. <laughs> After it explodes, I'll remember that there was also a couple pilots. <laughs> yeah, the pilots are gone. Usually, when a helicopter goes down, it's all hopefully bad. they weren't I mean, our guys. Good. There's yeah. no, there's no. Yeah, I won't, I won't ride in the helicopter. So that's not good right well, okay. a good mm-hmm. pilot crash all the time. Would, yeah, the good pilot can auto rotate the opposite way of failure, that kind of thing. Yeah, it usually doesn't matter. Usually, when a helicopter goes down, people are dying. Okay, so. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Yeah, the, 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 the deceleration. Land. Exactly. Because you guys were leaving, but didn't get clear of the damage. It's not going to be full damage. The strength of the explosion is going to be 12 plus 1 bonus die. Ooh. So, what is your toughness? 11. So, 11, 1, it's different 6, no effect. You want to just do that same number for everyone, or do you want to roll for each of us? It would have been for, uh, for everyone. <laughs> okay. So what's your toughness? Eight. Eight. That's going to be two shock. I'm 11, so it should be no. No effect. All right. I'm a nine. Nine, so that is going to be two shock. So considering good. you survived a helicopter crash and explosion. Yeah. So the two of you, Azriel and Ayara, you feel that heat wave just kind of an explode. Boom! Knocks you off your feet. The two of you were able to... You know, em- embrace it and, out, and take it. Run an explosion. <laughs> no, roll, roll with the punch. Okay. Basically, yeah. We survived though. And right now, it's that calm and just the you know the light backdrop that's going off from the fire and the crackling. Did the pilots make it out? I don't know. I probably don't not. But we so. should probably get the hell out of this area because this is gonna draw a hell of a lot of attention. Are we yeah. inside or outside the zone? I don't know. That's a good question. Look up. Yeah, I'm looking up. <laughs> so. But we need to get the hell out of this area. Yes. But we're you see the big flying lizard. We know which side we're on. <laughs> <laughs> we appear to be inside the zone. <laughs> well, which way? Okay, looking up. Which way is the storm moving? So at this point, the living lands axioms are in play. Those numbers okay. are very. Everyone, low. draw a cosm card. Be good to me. <laughs> Thanks. Battle scars. I don't, I don't need to draw one. Correct. Right? Not yet. Oh man. Okay. Wait. Maybe this one might not be bad. Play when a character would roll for <coughs> defeat. Character doesn't gain an up on the test. Gains two possibilities and isn't knocked out if Tusk succeeds. Does this happen right now? No, this is the one that you can play it whenever it says you can or at any time. Okay. There's some yeah, that say like play when drawn. Because it, it mine doesn't. It says the hero's gear falls apart, is ruined or lost. Each player must lose something valuable, such as all the ammo for one gun, a weapon, his armor, or some other important equipment. So this is why it's good. Each storm knight gains one to three possibilities depending on the value of the lost gems call. So if somebody wants to drop something and we can gain possibilities from it. This one is GM rolls a die. If it's, it doesn't say what kind, just any die. If it's odd, we hear a sound that was merely an animal or other harmless movement. But if it's an even roll, the sound was made by a dangerous predator which ambushes the group and then we all get a possibility. And mine is another one like that. Play when first encountering a reality rated a Dianos or very large creature. It gains a perk like death claws or stone skin or special ability like tentacles or wings <laughs> from another creature. Gain one to three possibilities based on the GM. Can you so. imagine like something acquiring tentacles? <laughs> right. Yeah. Jeez. You got That's a like T-Rex. T-Rex a T-Rex with wings. Jesus. That'd be a dragon. But would it be like would it be like stupid chicken wings or would it get like big bat wings? You know. Right. Like where do they turn in? What does turn into? Well, if it was big bat wings, that would just basically be a dragon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. With the short arms on it, yeah. 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 dragon. I told you there was dragons. But he doesn't breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, not they all dragons breathe fire. Right? We yeah. don't know. <laughs> okay, so this right now it's like yeah, as you said. So uh, Evangeline, you said you look up. I Which did too. Yeah, going? I did too. The storm is going northwest. So away like, from away us. Away from you. Which immediately should tell us we're inside. Well, we were headed into the storm. Storm was coming out. I say we just keep going further in because that's where we in had to go. So opposite direction of the storm. So direction yeah. of the storm. And as you look Which around, is the way we have to go, anyways. And and so and then as you look around, you know, and obviously like you just kind of just you know just take stock of where you're at, and it's much more humid right now. Your body's starting to get just kind of sticky with sweat as the humidity drops in. You can just feel the temperature raise. 
and the, the environment is different. Different than any type of forest you've ever been in. So, so is the storm... The since, why we didn't want butt hairs. <laughs> <laughs> since we're going to be we're walking on foot, sleep. is there anything that survived? Like any equipment or any like water or anything that survived from the helicopter that we can grab? It's possible, but right now it's still... Like the explosion wasn't the movie fireball explosion. It, you know, it may have been the battery. It could have been some of the fuel that exploded. But right now, you kind of have to wait for that to die down to check to see it's what... It's too hot. It's yeah, just it's, too hot. So here's the question, looking at it, because again, this is the level of tech I generally deal with. It. Mm -hmm. Is it burning fragments or is it roiling fire? Is something still flammable going off? Like the, Roll the evidence tanks? analysis. Like is it fully engulfed or something? Nice. Evidence analysis is right there. So I'm adding seven to that. That's going to be a 12. 12. What you can see is there's parts that, just parts of the helicopter that's in flames, and it looks like it's burning hotter than what it should be, making you think that that's probably just chemical induced. Right. Once it burns off, then everything else should be. You know, so, so I'm feeling as best I can that the chances are we don't have a fuel tank that's either. Spewing and roiling. Correct. Okay. All right. So. So hold back. As soon as the fires come down, we'll go in. Cha. The storm moving and the atmosphere changing. Is this area coming like being taken over by the living lands right now? No. My guess is that we are already already in it. In it but with the but the storm is moving also. So. None of you guys have seen a reality storm move like that. And what was really weird is like how far off course during the spin did you get knocked around? I mean, I, how far in are you? Right. Does this storm look like somebody's kind of controlling it? How it, would we know that? Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell. Because oh, I think we were supposed to be might. going into core earth to start with. Burlington was supposed to be core earth. So did the storm take over a previously that's Earth place? Right, and that's mm -hmm. what I'm that's what I'm thinking is yeah. it seems like if the storm is moving and the atmosphere is changing right now, not that we're just in it and it's already that way. It's like we're starting to feel it change. It seems to so me So like, thinking that mm -hmm. instead of looking up, now I'm looking around. Is there massive plant growth happening in front of my eyes? No, it's not like the plant is actually moving, you know, so it's not like that. It's been here. I mean, okay. it looks like it's would be, a, like, for lack of a better term, an old growth jungle. But it is thicker. Already there. Oh, yeah. It's, it is thicker plant. Because remember, I was looking down the whole time we were going in looking at stuff. So it's changed. It's the, abs the it's the lens biology, the, the flora and fauna has, well, we don't know about the <laughs> fauna, but the flora has changed. But the flora has changed from what you recall from seeing overhead. So I have no idea where to go, which direction to go. And we were flung around so much in that chopper. I like the idea of going the opposite way of the storm, but we may be heading to... We know we need to head southeast. Mm -hmm. The wind kind of... Uh, can we see the sun? The wind kind of blows, and you guys can smell very distinct scent of burnt cooking flush. The pilots are pilots. Dead. Or it could have hit something. Or some Adinos are cooking people. <laughs> yeah, there's so Either many way, options. That's immediately where we, I went. Whichever way we go, we need to get the hell out of this yeah, area. Yeah, I think like, that we should so, now. So wait, is there a large tree with limbs but not kind of huge like, giant redwood? Like then we can climb widow. up to get a yeah, vantage point? It, yeah, to be able to see if I can see. There's trees that you can climb, but there's not. you can't tell just because it's such a deep canopy that where you might be able to break through it and okay. like take high ground. But All there's right. definitely something that, you know, if, I mean, there's probably do places we, Do you climb. want me to try climbing something? Or if one of you is better at it, do you want me to climb something and see if we can see? I mean, if we see some kind of an edifice, that might be something to work towards. I don't think it would hurt, but we should at least move away from the crash mm -hmm. site before we do that. Oh. Any direction. Mm -hmm. Do we want to move that far away? I mean, I'd still like to see if I can find my stuff. I don't think we have to go too, too far, but we need to get out of this general area for now right. because yeah. this is going if, to be drawing if there's, attention. If there's tree cover or something that we can get behind because if the explosion starts to draw anything, I don't want to be out in the open with okay. it. So yeah. we'll go to a tree line that's line of sight to the yeah. thing. and So eventually, and I think that's very much in line as a monster hunter worrying about what's getting drawn. There you go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> So, as you guys start looking for a place to go, are you looking for, a, like, how far away you're moving from the crash site? And are you... I'd say 100 to 500 well, it, feet. It depends on the, the environment. Because if you're going to tell me it's flat with no trees for miles from here, we're, we're, we're not going to go that far. But if, if we can get, like, 
a some cover cover right the idea is to get some kind of cover where we can watch the grass side watch as the fire burns out and then be able to zip back somebody roll a find i don't say not necessarily cover but more I concealment I, I've got good yeah, find. I'm not the one to roll that I have 11 <laughs> on my I got 13 13 13 so the canopy here is thick and it looks like when the helicopter fell through it hit definitely some of the canopy as you look up you can see just like little bits of trickles of flame up on top where it broke through pieces of the helicopter you look around there's you know detritus from the wreckage around and so the canopy is thick not meeting really like what you wanted but it's not hard to find some tree uh, so we're already kind of within a forested exactly area. so okay. like a cluster of gotcha. area to be able to climb okay. and like you know see through the leaves and the branches but you can't get like if you get a- anything more than about 50 yards out it's just going to be so closed in exactly so, okay. like so we're not going to get super far so away. we'll just yeah. we'll just hunker down yeah in a tree line again the idea is so something comes right directly to the crash yeah. site it doesn't come right directly on us mm-hmm. sure yeah we can just get a little ways away from the crash site into the trees and then because we can always hide in bushes or scamper up a tree really quick if need be. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, no problem. You should find something like that. So let's take a break with you guys at a moment. And I want to visit Dave's character, V. Okay. So, V from the Cyber Papacy. And what you had told me, can you advise our audience just a little bit of V's background? V was a member of the church police and volunteered to join a special training program which would reprogram some of his cyberware, specifically his headwear, into becoming an, an infiltration unit. It was a, basically a solo they would send these Vermilion models into, uh, you know, kind of standalone like suicide missions, like, hey, cool, if they survive, you know, great, if not, you know, that's okay. He was captured by members of the resistance and had his headwear reprogrammed. So he got full blown rewired? Yes. Like Terminator 2 reprogrammed? Yes. Okay. Now he supports the resistance and anything that they need. Okay. So now the resistance, la resistance in the cyber papacy, most of them were a lot similar to you. And when they came across, they were fully believing in Malro's word. A lot of the nodders, though, started working within the Godnet and putting out a heavy duty <coughs> propaganda campaign that Malro was not actually an agent of God, but he was working for some type of darkness, a darkness device is what they were calling it. And that propaganda has started to raise interest in the resistance and started, and that, that's kind of how it started gaining more and more momentum and people leaving the lie that Malro has been telling and joining the resistance. All right. So one of the things that you've heard as part of the resistance is that Malro wants to expand his territory that, of his invasion. So he already expanded into South America and he's, rumors are he's looking at a French speaking populace in a continent called North America. And so you were sent over as part of a vanguard, especially with your infiltration background, to go into the city of Montreal. Uh, And that's where the rumors were to see if this is indeed true. And just to kind of you know find out what you you know could find now with your infiltration background you were sent as a solo asset okay during that time montreal is core earth so you kind of started feeling what core earth reality was however you know you felt about core earth that's going to be up to v just you know if that's something that he find it's worth defending or if it's malro that you know what's what's a higher priority defending core earth or defeating malro that'll be up to v to decide right. but you were able to actually see core earth how it is the fight that the people here are trying to put together you know just the that human nature of coming together so you were able to see you know some of the virtues of earth in face of the invasion so you were following up rumors of a neighboring cosm and of agents from the cyber papacy potentially looking to go into what's being called as the living lands and starting to directly challenge one of the other high lords so that is what you were you know a lead that you're following up just to be able to report back okay 
you entered into the Living Lands and you were able to see the change of what it was and you found out that your equipment and what you're used to, especially the high-tech world that you come from, you're now in basically a no-tech world. So it's been a very difficult... Yeah, struggles, like the stuff I'm used to struggles here. Ab absolutely. <coughs> absolutely. Fortunately, you've been able to avoid detection, mainly through your skills of uh, dodging and maneuvering. But at some point, you found that there was some type of party that appears to be tracking your movements. So as good as you are, what all of your tricks that you've learned, at least in this terrain, they seem to have been able to keep up with you. Okay. So, so I'm on the run, kind of. You are on the run. Okay. All right. Yeah. You go a couple days going deeper into it as you're trying to shake these pursuers. There's been times when they got close enough that you're able to actually catch glimpses of them. And what they are are basically humanoid lizards walking on two legs. They seem to be armed with very primitive weapons like bone and stone spears, um, bolas, atlatls. They're probably great trackers. They track my scent and, uh, and think, I mean, I'll, yeah. But it's clear okay. that oh. they know the terrain, they know this land and they are amazing trackers. Okay. And so you have not been able to shake them. Okay. At some point, just due to exhaustion, you were overcome. Okay. And they didn't straight flat out killed you. There was something, you know, they detected something that was odd. So out of character, they sensed the dead things that were in you, basically mm -hmm. your cybernetics. Okay. But they were confused as to why you were still living when you had these dead things in you. Okay. So they ended up capturing you, and the feeling that you get is they're bringing you back to probably their leader. Okay. So the way that they have you uh, having maneuvered is your hands are bound basically by like corded vines okay. uh, behind your back, <clears throat> and around your neck is a catch pole. Okay. And they're just moving me along. And they're just moving you along. They're moving at a good pace, but not to a point where you can't keep up. Okay. So it's been about a full day since you've been under capture like this. Okay. And as you guys are moving along, maybe about, oh gosh, mile ahead, you actually see something from, from what you, you can recognize as some type of aircraft out of control, spinning down from the sky, hitting the canopy, and just the, the loud crash, the, you know, the, the sounds of metal being rent as it impacts. And then a few moments later, you can see light come up from some type of explosion. Mm -hmm. And at that point, the Adinos, the Adinos warriors, there's six of them with you. They start chattering back and forth in so like this really weird clicking, hissing type of language. One of my pieces of headwear automatically translate languages to either modern tongue or Magna Verita, so that I understand it. All languages? That's what it said. Let's see. If they're like, it's spoken. Fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, yeah. It's called the Cyberham Translator. It's I like, was considering that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm like, that's yeah, kind of cool. It, uh, the device is also known as the Babel Tech. It is fitted in the user's ears. It automatically translates whatever the user hears into her native tongue. As long as the language is a, oh, a modern language native to Core Earth or Magna Verita. Oh, that's what it is. So, okay. Okay, okay. So right. this is not a modern language, okay. so and I it's not native clicking. to Earth or right. Magna Verita. Good, good try, though. Right. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, that's awesome. Yeah. That seems <laughs> expensive. But if somebody's speaking Spanish, I don't know, and I'm like, cool, it translates it for me. Oh, Star Trek yeah. Universal yeah. Translator. That would be sick. So you're used to being able to hear and take advantage when people are speaking, but you know, again, this is not native to Earth. These okay. creatures are not native to Magna Verte. So this hissing and clicking, that language that they have, it's it, it's expressive. It's all District Nine. Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but with more hissing. Okay. <laughs> Sleep stack. Right. Um, and so there seems to be a quick, there seems to be a, like a, you know, a quick conversation in this language. And <laughs> then all of a sudden they start double timing it to it. And so the person I'm holding the cash pole behind you is running and pushing as you guys start double timing. So as we're moving, my hands are tied behind me, right? Yes, they are. <laughs> Trying to think that, hey, I may, in this chaos that may, you know, as we approach this site, I may have an opportunity to try and make a run for it. As we move, I want to see if I can somehow get my bonds around my arms to a point where I might be able to easily slip them. As you're running, 
So it's going to be a pretty difficult. It's going to be a pretty difficult role because one, there's somebody behind you, you know, being able to observe, and two, it's on the run, and you're right. like focusing, and, and it's not like on a track. This is you're running through the jungle. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can. You know, you can, but yeah. it's going to be a roll. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to roll. Okay, it's going to be. Worst case scenario, I'm tied up. You know. What yeah. I mean? Yeah. It's going to be a. I mean, I'm thinking it's a dex based thing, you know? It's so, going to be dex based. Yeah, which is my specialty. It's not quite lock picking because you don't have. It's not like the. Yeah, right. Let's just go straight maneuver. Difficulty of 16. Okay. All right. Maneuver. All right, here we go. All right. Bring up a trusty d20 here. So, 16. Three. You said it's a what? DN of 16. Okay, so I got a 17. 17. So as you're moving, you can definitely feel that it is you know, possible to loosen it up. Now what I need is if you're going to continue or to get to a place where you can just pop it, I need you to roll a stealth. Stealth is going to be difficulty 14. Okay. So 15 is 2 and so 17. 17? Yeah. Just through the speed, through I the I don't want to pop them. I want to still make you, it look like you, you, I'm you, still bound, but at the time, when it comes time, I want to be able to you are, slip them and try and... You are quite positive that the way that you worked them, all you have to do is just curl your hands in, slide them out. Perfect. So, I mean, you're positive that you're able to do that. Okay, perfect. Okay. And then I just run with the group. So, running with the group. Back to you guys. So, you're able to find a spot where you're able to kind of keep watch of the area. How are you doing this? Tell me what you're doing. I figured we're just hunkered down either behind the tree or into the grass. Okay. Or behind whatever the weeds are. Just, again, I'm not expecting to see something come by. I just want that to boil down to where we might be able to get into it. So, you know, after a few minutes as you're kind of waiting for the flames to die down and then the, the flames have, you know, gotten down. There's just a little trickles left, but now you're kind of waiting for it to cool off to be able to sift through. I want everybody to roll... Let's go with can't, Not for this, not for this, though. Is everyone except me, right? Correct. Look at yeah. it. Can we group, or you want them all separate? <laughs> separate. So I'm still wounded. I have an eight. Okay. We're all rolling fine? Yes. Ten. Ten, okay. Nine. Nine. Asriel? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, just so no. Max, I mean, like right now, especially as you're staying still, the adrenaline's leaving your body, and you are you can start feeling the hurts. Right, okay. The two of you are really focused on basically the helicopter, and Evangeline, you know, just your training of monster hunting, especially being out in obscure, dark places, you hear in the distance the brush starting to rustle. All right, I'm going to whistle at you guys. you to whistle? Get, yeah. We're right next to you. <laughs> oh, I thought we were kind of spread out. I didn't realize we were all like I, I, all on we? top of I, each I other. And tap us all on the shoulder. Yeah, like, I think we're like wait, we're like not like squeezed next to each other, but we're also not like. All right, I'm gonna start like yeah. trying to get your guys' attention just by poking you and kind of pointing in the direction, and then like point to my ear, like pay attention, like I'm hearing something over here. So well, I'm I'll looking. Poke, yeah, okay. I'll focus in. As you guys start listening, you can hear that rustle movement, and it sounds like something is moving in. Maybe not at a dead run, but it's rushing towards just the, you know hearing the under. Um, so we're not hearing the thump, thump. You're, thump. you're not hearing okay, something big and heavy, but you're hearing you know the rustle of you know out in the woods. Somebody's not trying to be stealthy. They're rapidly moving to I'm your location. My Slayer's gun, just wait, to be wait, ready. Wait, hold Slowly. on. Slowly. Yeah, let's not attack it yet. Remember what they said about the Adenos? This is just a precaution. I didn't say I was attacking anything. <laughs> okay. Just so to what, be ready. So what do you guys do? I'm, I'm waiting. waiting. I'm just going to wait. And, and I'm watch. looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, do we have an idea where the, the sound ready. is coming? It's not oh, like yeah. from everywhere. No, 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 no. It's, okay. it's, it's definitely coming from a specific direction, just basically off, kind of like more like your 7 o'clock. Can we, uh, like, hide behind trees to see if it won't see us? So everyone roll stealth. 14. Roll find. No, okay. 14 as well. Net zero. <laughs> well, I'm getting away from you two. Um, 14's not bad. That's what I'm saying. Oh, cut them. I'll give I you a hit, save it. I'm That's zero. I'm not going to give up on the find. Yeah. So, no, I don't nine. know. I swear. Yeah, I'm moving, my, I'm moving away from them, trying to get a little bit more concealment. <laughs> They like try to hide and they trip over a I'm branch. hiding behind like a tree that's scarier than me, like, can't see me. Okay, so what'd I you get my first? Like an ostrich? Nine. Nine? Zero. Zero. Fourteen. 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 Fourte
What does that mean? Sound like an ostrich? He goes like this. <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make like a bird. Cuck off! <laughs> you, you get on a tree and a branch and you do the, like clap your arms. Yeah. Quack, quack. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> So she grabs a branch. It was just kind of, you know, just walk, uh, hunker down, silent, and watching. And coming through the brush, what you see are six, what look to be the dinosaur people, the Adenos, uh, okay. that were described to you. Do they have red necks? Yes, they do. Oh, shit. Or red Amongst them uh, appears to be a human male with his arms bound behind his back and one Adeno with a catch pole wrapped around his neck. Would you please describe your character? So I'm approximately six foot two, 185 pounds. I wear a, a long trench coat, kind of like a duster. I've got a flat brimmed round hat. I don't have any obvious cyber implants. So at first no. glance, something that I would think would be very similar to where I'm from. Potentially the way this dress. Gear. Is there anything on you that is definite cyber papacy? I still have my gear, right? But I'm just basically captured. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I've got... I've Actually, got, no, they would have taken your weapons. Okay, so we, you might recognize that one of the Adenos is carrying two God Meter pistols. They are definitely from the Cyber Papers. It's the standard issue sidearm for the church police. So I grab who, like, whoever's <laughs> next to me, I'm like, church police. And I'm having, like, flashbacks. She gets because, some anxiety happening. You know, it's like, I'm all the way, yeah, I'm all PTSD. the way out here, and I just, like, I'm having PTSD about the church police all the way out in the forest. So in the jungle, are, you, yeah. are you saying that this person is working with them? He looks captured. You happen to be talking too loud, and about that time, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's my zero. That's your zero. <laughs> 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 People that can't whisper, and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> We both so are like. There's that yeah. moment where they look. You guys are just like, uh oh, and <laughs> they attack. Yeah. Shit. Ugh. Shoot. So tell me what the combat form of all out means. All out attack is <laughs> you uh -oh. are <laughs> sacrificing defense to give a bonus during the attack. So all out attack is plus four on your attack. And then the next round, you are very vulnerable. So basically, it's plus four to be hit. Okay. So, so you need to draw a causing card or anything? Yes, you do. Oh, okay. And everyone, four destiny hands. Again, we're all back to the mechanics. So you guys are hurt. Minimal possibilities to be able to soak damage. And so this might be a time to consider playing one of the causing cards that gets everyone possibilities. Okay, mine makes them way tougher. I don't think mine is the right one. That's We have to draw... On mine, we have to lose something. I have one that's play when a character would roll for defeat. Character doesn't gain an up on the test, but gains two possibilities and isn't knocked out if the test succeeds. That's one person gaining it. Does everybody have something that you yeah, can drop I, some gear? I have something. I have play to give all Storm Knights their choice of one possibility, a draw from their Destiny Neck, or they can recover three shots. We can't oh, use these yet, can't use though. those yet. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we all hold good. on to the radiation badges, didn't we? But from yeah, I've still got Dark mine. Gold. What if we just drop the radiation badges? Is it on your character sheets? Mine it's on still mine. Is on okay. mine. So I can play this, and it doesn't have to be an actual weapon or something like that. It's just some some of your some gear item. you pick. Yeah, yeah drop. throw it. Okay, that'd be the only thing I'm so willing to drop. Would be some, the everybody pick one piece of gear to drop. It must lose something valuable. It says something valuable, but it's based on what the value is. The GM will decide whether you get one, two, three possibilities. We're probably getting one if we throw a radiation mask. I have two. Well, mask. I never wrote down the radiation badge, okay. so I technically don't have it. I have two bows. I have a compound bow and a, a short bow, so I'm going to drop my short bow. If, and this is something that you're going to have to make the decision, if V decides to stay and fight, you'll be able to take advantage of this. If he flees, then you won't be able to take advantage right. of this cool. Cosm card. Okay, cool. So, basically, if what we'll do is if armor is destroyed, three possibility. If a weapon's destroyed, two. Anything else, one. I'm getting rid of a weapon. I'm getting Me rid too. of a weapon as well. So can I get rid of just one grenade or can I get rid of all 20? It says... It, it's a, it, it's, so, it's a bandolier. It would be a bandolier. The whole it says thing? Yeah. such as all an, all the ammo but for one gun. But I'll do three for that. But it's okay. a such as. Three of the disruptor grenades are going to slip out. They fall apart or oh, ruined the whole or lost, okay, so cool. you can't... All right, um, so that whole thing's gone. I'll just erase it. Basically, the living lands took them. Right. So, <laughs> so, so my riot stick turns into, like, a tree branch? Right, exactly. I'm, it's not no, so... 
it, it didn't transform. It's just it just decays. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I have a sword. There's nothing special to it, but it is a sword. It's a weapon. All right. It's a weapon. I will drop the two. sword. And because it's cheesy, I'll also drop the radiation thing. I I, I feel like <laughs> that would make it a little fairer. Because it's not a bonus sword. It's just a sword sword. Feeling like I've got a chance. So I still have the because when we were in Isle, we got Eilish clothing. Didn't that give us some armor? There was no no. They were supposed to get armor, but the Lady Nightbird attacked the Delphi Council that was supposed to have the armor there. The only place we got armor from was Starcold. Was Starcold. Okay, yeah. and I held on to that. For some reason, I thought the Eilish armor gave us a plus to something. Or there <laughs> was shields, that, but nobody took the shield. I are a cast like I can give you armor. armor. Yeah, I've got spell that can give and a, that's, adds I think to we armor. Got the plus two in yeah. Isle. Yeah, because okay. I I can roll high to get a plus two. So let's get into combat. First round. It is a standard scene, not dramatic. Okay. So standard heroes first. Attack and trick are the approved actions. So if we do one of those actions, we get a possibility, right? You get a end. possibility? Now, the law of savagery... Yep, exactly. That's why I asked. If you do an all-out attack, you actually get to draw an additional destiny card. Interesting. Heroes first. Who's up? Are they, like, coming at us kind of grouped together? They're fanning out, spreading out. So they're not dumb on tactics. They're not going to be, you know, clumped. Okay. But they are fanning out. The one on you, as he starts to move, drops his stick, though. Drops okay. a and have ball. I noticed... These other people in the woods or not? Not yet. Okay. You didn't make your they, They've long, like they've something has caught their attention, and the guy that was once holding me dropped the stick. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. Are okay. they within twenty-five meters of me? Yes. Are there two that are kind of somewhat close together, at least? Like what's the so range you're looking for? A medium blast range together. <laughs> a medium <laughs> blast range. Right. So basically, it'll be potentially effect three. Okay. So I'm going to cast Sudden Burial just in front of where they're running. So That's terrifying. The spell is cast <laughs> on a patch of ground the size of a medium blast radius. The ground up to one meter deep and anything on it lifts five meters in the air, flips over, and then slams back into place. Night, a living nice. creature in the area takes 10 plus 1 BD damage and is stymied. That is a Sudden <laughs> Burial. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking to try to get them as they like go over it and... So what you see them as they kind of fan out, they're not rushing in. You can start seeing them having their bolas, and they're actually okay. swinging their bolas. So right. they're standing, and it looks like they're using going to you know use that as their primary attack for this round. Okay, but then you're able to cast. All right, not just in front of them, then just where they're standing on the ground. To be able to catch three. Yeah. Perfect. So it is a target dodge or dexterity as the DN. Okay, let me grab a. So their dodge is going to be 10. Are we doing all out attack? What did you roll? A two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're too and, so don't bother spending the, yeah, okay. don't bother spending the possibility. Okay. It won't help you. So as you start reaching out with your magic, the magic axiom here, you oh. all of a sudden you remember Diana saying magic is even less than tech. Right. You reach out and yeah. then all of a sudden, yeah. You don't feel magic anymore. What you actually start feeling is the goddess giving life as you start recognizing, disconnect from Io, oh, no. and start embracing the living land. So on a one to four, because you Are and... So high. Yeah, because not only just you, what you're attempting to do, magic, and you're in a realm where it is both, you know, not... It's gotcha. a contradiction. One to four causes contradictions. All right. So, all of a so that like, doesn't happen. The, no, <laughs> you're like the goddess. <laughs> ah. Well, I'll go next, and okay. I'm gonna try to go for that same little group. Life's the um, best up one so, how many would a small blast affect? Just two small of them. Small blast then? is one. Just one of them. Yep. You know what? No, I'm just gonna go for liquid fire shell. So I'm gonna use my potion launcher. So, as it starts rotating, are you doing it all out? My dice has not been good to me, and I don't. So want dodge of ten. Oh, thank God. <laughs> So, 14. 14, that is going to be a standard success. And then it does 14 damage plus one bonus die each round. Who's he starting now? Bonus die? The thing says. Damn. Okay. So, 14 plus your bonus die? Four. 
four. So that's going to be 18. So that's going to be a difference of eight, nice. which is one wound, two shock. And how many people did it? Does it's it? a small blast. So small blast. So one of the guys running, he just starts going. And you're as it shatters. What do we see? Nice. <laughs> he gets covered in this sticky liquid that as soon as it makes contact with the air, just bursts into flames and basically starts making a roasted lizard. And so, <laughs> so it hits that, and as soon as it's just like bursting into flames, one of the contact, you can hear this thing just screaming in this weird, eerie, you know, part human but part reptile scream as it crumples to the ground and it's kind of kicking and trying to put out the flames futilely, and then pretty soon it just stops moving. And so the other Dinos, when they see his partner going down, you know, just this profound fanity against the goddess herself as one of their brethren gets killed just yell in frustration and anger who's next I'll so go. before we step forward I, the world law of life is actually interesting characters always have up results when testing for defeat wounded characters test to heal every scene or once a day whichever is more often so that's why your cosm card says you can forego the up result to get the possibilities is this a scene that I can test for heal? No, because okay. you're in combat. All right. All right. Who's up? Me. The catch ball. So whatever one is near me or within like line of sight, they are going to eat some lightning. And the one that just burst into flame was the one carrying my gun, was it? Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> Roll me a d6. Oops. Well, number one, yes. No. So that one does not have his uh, <laughs> church <laughs> police weapons. Okay. <laughs> Although I don't really care because fuck the church. <laughs> So that does it. not hit. I'm not going to waste a dice. But also, okay, that's it. The so you, tr you try to throw the lightning? <laughs> so you, uh, you reach out. It, it is so distant here. The magic. The, you know, the, just the magic. There's just a little bit of magic in the environment. Enough to be able to, you know, to, to fill the mana. But you're not used to this. And you go to throw it. And it just kind of crackles static around your hands. I mean, it's going to take time for you to figure out how to manipulate it. Okay, so I am going to step... They're coming anyway. I'm going to step forward, step out of the woods, and I am going to hit them with Aversion. Aversion has a 50-meter range. Aversion creates an overwhelming desire in the target, or targets, I'm intending to get all of them, to avoid the psychic at all costs. It doesn't give me control, it just forces them. Target will do anything he can to avoid coming within five meters. The target may attack the psychic, but suffers a minus six for blind fighting. Okay, so Let's how, can, can how do, do you accompany all of them? How many says target area of effect? Well, it says it doesn't have an area of effect. It has a range 50 meters, and it says target or target, so I'm assuming I can choose. Do all of us, like the Adinos and us, like, somehow become averted? I no, I don't so. think it would be them, or, like your allies. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. But the one that's... Yeah, so it's a version creates an overwhelming desire in the target or targets to avoid the psychic. So what would make sense to me without anything else mm -hmm. is zero penalty if you're targeting one minus two for each additional like okay. if you're doing multiple targets all right so minus two and then minus four so i could get two targets with my special ability for the minus two point. yes you may all right so i'm gonna at least grab two of the targets the two closest to us okay Let's see how i do that is going to be a net 12 so my guess is it's not a good roll so what's the difficulty or what's the target target oh there we go targets willpower or mind so their mind is six so i beat them by six beat them by six is a good success if able the target moves away from the agent on his action at walking speed the target won't harm himself to get away or suffer extra effects <laughs> if there's nowhere to go okay there's definitely, you know, he can step back. So the two of them are leaving me. So two of them, they're still swinging, but they're moving backwards away okay. from you because they were throwing their uh, bolas. Okay. So roll me a d6. For each one? Yeah, but... The one Azrael attack didn't have my weapons. The right. one that got fried. Got fried. fried. So it's going to be a, basically a d5. So d5, okay. I'll ignore six. I'll roll again. <laughs> <laughs> Other options, roll d10. Two. Cut, okay, and one more because... Ow! Right, one of the ones backing up. The okay. one backing up has your weapons. All right, cool. I'll shoot him with a regular, cool. <laughs> regular well, slug. Well, if nobody cares, I'll go next, and then. So what you see huh? is, you know, them start fanning out and definitely in a combat line. And how many uh, are there? There were five. There were six. Oh, six. One guy. And then oh. all of a sudden, you see just this like poof, 
and then something shattered against one, burst into flames, it screamed, dropped to the ground. Off in the distance, in the dark, you can see like blue electricity start to form. Does it fizzle out? You see Max step out, so you know they're fighting some other type of humans. Okay. What does V do? So, I'm gonna break my bonds. Nope, you can slip them, no problem. Boom. So now my question is, I know I'm in this primitive land, right? What do I know about the living land? Anything? Was with intel you, given to me? You didn't give much chance for intel. No. So I know that's it's just what you were here for. Okay. And they're the thing they're using on me is pretty I mean obviously it's not high tech. It is very low tech. But <laughs> it had me corralled. Yeah. So you know what? I'm gonna slip out of that thing and the one that's got my gun, since he's not paying attention, I'm gonna try and grab him with it. I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna go all out. Okay. It is so it'll so be a melee weapon, right? It's going to be melee weapon. You need to roll a maneuver DN10 to be able to get out from it. Alright, so maneuver, okay, let's do that first. That's gonna be a twelve. So that's a zero, but my maneuver has 14. So. so yeah, no problem. You're able to slide out. Now you tr you flip it around, have that catch pull in your hand. It's pretty easy to figure it out. And so once Put you're able to open it up, so you reach out to the one backing up and he's focused his bola on that and it's boom, and you're doing it all out. Yep. All right. So what does that mean? So plus. that is going to be basically a plus four. So okay, plus four on top of what I roll. All yep, right. So, it so is, melee weapons, here we go. So melee weapons. There's a 19. Nice. So that's gonna be a 23. So that is eight. So eight plus three, so it's 11. So that's gonna be a 25, because my melee weapons is 14. It's a dex based. Oh, okay. So yeah, 25. So, yo, oh yeah, that's outstanding success. <laughs> 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 it has teeth on it. That's what allows it to, and it's going to do damage. So it's strength plus two, plus two bonus dice for your outstanding success. Right. Nine plus so that's going to be uh, thirteen damage. Thirteen against that toughness. You grab it around its neck and starting to start shaking it. It, but it doesn't go down. But it does take shock. Okay. All right. And then actually. Uh, I get out. You did all out attack. Yeah, I did all out. Which yeah. means you actually get an extra bonus die. All right, yeah. so 13 plus five. Uh, oh, which uh, is uh, I get to roll again, right? No, no, no it's only a six. six. Oh, okay. If you roll a six, so it counts 18. as a five and you roll again. All right, 18 damage. So 18 is actually going to be by eight, which is one wound, two shock. Tell us what we see. He struggles, and as he starts to struggle, he grabs up at his neck. I just go ahead and give it one quick stern jerk straight back at me to just pop it off. <laughs> so what you guys see that are there is the person who was bound all of a sudden just slip his binding behind his back pops open like this claw like thing they catch pull around his neck just definitely flip it around open it up put it around the neck of one of the lizards that was backing away from you he starts struggling and just with this ripped boom just bites deep doesn't quite come off but those teeth bite deep <laughs> As blood just starts, you know, just spurting like out on either bill. side. Yeah, he'll bill, exactly. <laughs> and just all of a sudden, it just drops with a dead weight. And do I have Do I have enough action to grab my guns? You have to do that next turn because okay. you didn't solicit in your turn. Next turn, bill. perfect. Yeah. So, our heroes go. Let me see who notices now, that. Do I get a possibility for doing that, that savagery thing or no? No, uh, okay. but you do but get, get from that, right? The attack. The card. You get a yeah. destiny card, but not possible. Oh, gotcha. Destiny card, gotcha. Okay. That's at the end, right? No, you can drop now. Oh, I can do it you now. Should oh. get one, two, because you. Was the psionics an attack? attack. Oh. oh, yeah, because I did have uh, attack as one of them. Everyone the... who did an attack, is psionics an attack? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, it was I have an attack. one as well. So Shan didn't get hers because she didn't, did you know, fail to hit. Me too. Okay, so there's two down. Two of them happen to notice and they see that you're loose. Okay. And what they do is they turn around and both of them just unleash their bolas at you. Alright, I'm gonna dodge. So what is your dodge? 18. Can you dodge? It's that's the it's, it's automatic, I think. Oh it just yeah. yeah. That's, that's my target that's the target yeah, number. Dodge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So he's not actively dodging. Right, I was gonna say I didn't think yeah, but I that's, think that's an yeah. action. Basically like, you know, the, the armor class, you know. Yeah. And so both of them start coming, they throw, and they're looking to directly go around your legs to tie you up. That's how they trapped you the first time. You saw this before. Just quick jump, boom, and it, no problem. All right, gracefully sidestep that. So they see you, mm -hmm. and both of them are throwing theirs on you. Are they? Okay. Yeah. So they didn't see where... These aren't the two that backed up. What's that? No, yeah, he either killed... these... Oh, you're right. But, yeah. no, but they can still throw. Right, they're at minus six, anyone who... who One's dead. 
What's your dodge? Mine's 11. So just the trees that are around, they weren't able, it gets caught up on that. And the one that was at minus six is backing away and just was completely off on his throw. And so that is the four of them. There's two that are dead. Next round. Heroes first, intimidation and trick, and the villains are fatigued. Nice. nice. And if we did, like I did all out last turn, I'm vulnerable this turn? Yes, you are. Okay. <clears throat> it's just easier for me. It doesn't, does it make it harder for me to do my actions or just make it easier for them to hit me? Easier to hit you. Okay, gotcha. All right, heroes first. Who's up? I mean, I'm like, you know, shook my hand out. I'm going to try again. Oh. I, I you was, saw just the seven. I, you're like, ah! my paper was covering the one over the seventeen, so I thought I rolled a seven. <laughs> Roll seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. That is going to be a good success over their dodge. So sixteen, and it also ignores four armor. Okay. Seventeen. <laughs> seventeen is a good success. Tell us what we see. So you know, cast lightning out of my cybernetic arm, and I catch it right in the chest, and you just see like its veins or whatever get electrified so you just see like it black <laughs> blackening out from the core so nice. all of you guys see just uh, you know like the venal system inside just kind of just shook and actually lights you can see it you know just the whole you know vein system inside the uh, just light up and then just blacking out whoop, and it just crumples down to the ground who's next i'm gonna take another shot but this time i'm gonna use a Where basic slug instead of one of my up. potions yeah. okay i'm gonna shoot one of the ones running back or I guess that was good. That was back and away. Back and away. One, okay. That's yeah. That's, there's only one left over there, right? Yep. Please be good to me. Yay. Finally. 17. 14. 14 beats their dodge. Just a standard success. Cool. And then the basic slugs do 14 damage. 14 damage. Their toughness is 10, so a difference of 4. And that is 2 shock on them. Oh, damn it. I forgot. So last time, if I cast a spell and if it fails, I get two shock, but I have an upgrade to my cybernetic arm where I ignore half shock and the half that I ignore, I can use it as a bonus against my next roll. No. Oh. So because I fucking forgot, can I use that my one point, my next next roll? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you you, you, you <laughs> no. Find a character. <laughs> I thought you say yeah. He's like no. Yay. Nope. All right. So now I'm gonna run out of the tree line. There's two running at me, both through bolas. So I'm gonna focus down on one. Okay. Is he like a big wing demon? Uh, no. Perhaps? I look like I look like a big man. There's a big dude. Okay. Nope. All right. Yep. So and I'm gonna be making two attacks just to let you know. Same, uh, same creature or two different It'll creatures? It'll be the same creature. Okay. So, and I'm doing all out. So the first one would be <laughs> a 12 to hit. 12 is going to be a standard success, but does hit. Are you using the dagger or what are you no, using? No, I'm using the claws. Okay. So that is going to be strength plus two is 10 plus the die. Yeah, I hate you. 11. 11 is going to be two shock. Okay. And the second attack is going <laughs> to Jesus. Second attack is going to be a net 11 plus 4, 15. Minus 2, 13. Minus 2, 13. Standard success. Okay. That one is going to add that. So it's going to be 8 plus 13 is plus 2, 23. 23. <laughs> that is outstanding. Tell us what we see. So I basically come out of the trees with the claws and gore into him, gore from the middle of the chest up through the face, and then throw him down and look at the other one that's coming at me. I think it's the first thing you finally killed with those claws. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, they're lit up. Nice. And so as they're kind of lit and vibrating, and you look at that creature, he looks back at you, glances down at here, and accepts. <laughs> I'll go. So okay. I'm going to, as I take this in, I've got an electric cy- you know, cyber arm, okay, mental note. Guy with big, huge, like, blade, bone blades coming some, out some of his arms. Some cybernetic. Okay. Doesn't look like the stuff I'm used to seeing. All right? Somebody shooting bottles of, you know, Molotov cocktails. And an elf. All right? <laughs> and an elf. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to keep an eye on all this. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to reach down and I'm going to put my guns on. I'm dressed very similarly to I'm you. I'm going to leave them holstered. I'm going to secure my weapons. So, now. Okay. So, as, so you guys seem like kind of looking out just very warily, but reaching down to one of the dead Adinos and starts... You know, putting on his guns. Ayara, you need to reconnect. Yep. 
So we are in. Wait, did you take Realm Runner? Yes. You ignore your first disconnect. Yeah, you, right? I was just yeah. going to say you ignore the first disconnect. Yeah. yeah. You ignore four points of reality penalties and ignore disconnection the first time. So yeah. you weren't able to get that, but this round, I mean, now you're good try to Try again. Yep. I'm going to try again. Southern Burial. Again. So there's Perfect. two left. Okay. Are they close enough within medium blast range together? Okay. Oh, I probably Why? saw her, like, cast a spell, right? No. Oh, it's no. the first time, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to see it this time. Their dodge is 10. 21. Ha, outstanding! This is not like once ever. So, so two so bonus dice? It's 10 plus two bonus dice, and the target is restrained until they make a strength test as an action to escape. So, 16 damage. 16 damage is actually... <laughs> uh, it is five over, so one wound, two shock. Tell us what we see to these two Adinos. <laughs> So the ground lifts up five meters and then just buries them underneath it and they're just smushed underneath all of the and so dirt. basically what you see is just like, you know, a hand over here, hand over here, and just kind of just twitch and then claw and then... <laughs> <laughs> Are there any still up? That's it. <laughs> you guys that was whacked the them yeah. out. Maybe oh. magic in this realm, as long as we can actually make it work, <laughs> it'll be good. Cause I, I think it's been good every yeah, time. They're just stuck with the... So I slowly Always. start to back away. I'm like, you know, cautious. I'm Taking watching. a step back, you know. Fingers, you know, close to the to the side arms, but still holstered. I've got to assume you know? that he's not I, with the Adenos. Yeah, yeah. He, I'm, I'm I see say, that. Is the, that Megan Veritas, is that a spoken language? Is that what it is? Uh, is it basically like French? No, no. Uh, Magna Verita is, Magna Verita. is the world of the Oh, that's the world. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then I'm going to say uh, the enemy of my enemy. Looks it's my be, friend. Looks to be well my spoke. friend today. And I look at you. Right? Because I don't know if she's a heretic or not. <laughs> right? Well, I've got my like my hand ready to you know cast if I need it to. Feel the tension in the air. And I, I see. say, I'm with the resistance. I don't think I'm your enemy. And then my lightning drops. That's, but wait, that's exactly what... <laughs> <laughs> you, so you know what the resistance is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely know what the resistance is. But he just, is. he immediately, I was like, the police! Right. <laughs> He's, she still is not fond of him, but... I say, no, I, but I, I, say, I, I, say. I, I once was, but no longer. We are looking to get to. I was going to say Belmont. Um, Burlington. 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 We, we are looking into Burlington. Do you know the way? <laughs> <laughs> I, I say, I don't know that I know the way, but any any place other than here is probably going to be our best bet before some more of those things show up. We we, we, we I'm going to uh, yes. check out the chopper crash. I mean, it's only been a few minutes, but does it look like we can get to it? So the flames have died down. There's just like little trickles. Wouldn't it be hard to put, you know, pat them out? Give us a moment. We need to retrieve whatever we can. Well, I can tell you that I was captured by those things, and they were taking me in that direction. I point the direction they were taking me. And I think it was to see their leader. I, I have to believe so that's probably not the don't way we want to go. We that don't want to go to the leader. Talk only three other them. cardinal directions to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> we want to go the opposite direction of their so, leader. So over to the chopper to begin with. But it is good to know that they're possibly their leader was that way so and i'm going to use my i will use my claws to tear in and, and both move things but also shred open any space that's going to be difficult to get into sure now what is there anything specific that you're looking for my rucksack <laughs> my <laughs> stuff that survived okay. yeah so roll a find so and tell me what you get no, it's transport. Okay. transport all that. Why he's doing that? What I'm happened gonna... to the Apache? When the, when the helicopter went down, what happened to that Apache that was uh, escorting it? Oops. So, <laughs> that was going to be the Man. He, he... So all, Oops, that one went down. I'm out of here. While they're <laughs> looking through that, I'm going to come over and start asking God, I need, I don't who you stuff. are and where you got picked up by What's these guys. I was, uh, I can I was deployed I here to uh, recon and all collect all intel all on a possible uh, Malro presence. And uh, I was captured by those things. They're strange weapons that tangle the feet. Do you know anything about the statue? What statue? It doesn't have that intel yet. I don't. I don't know anything about a statue. I only know that I'm here to verify whether there is an, an increased Malro presence here or not. My find was an eight. Okay. And I'm gonna let everyone know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for my my bag. And I'm not seeing it. I'm I look for, for it. Bag. I look for it as well and uh, rolled an eighteen. Okay. So somehow, just during the spin, it got wedged in and tossed out. So you're saying, I can't find it inside. IR starts looking around on the outside and ends up uh, coming up with it. Here's Good. your rucksack. Thank you. I'll basically grab it, but I'm ready to go. So while that was going on, you guys hear glimpses of that. You definitely heard toward the end of an increased Malro presence here. <laughs> it's like he's following me everywhere. 
<laughs> can't can't shake him. He's he's in, he's on every continent. It feels like. If he had his way, that would be the case. So I'll come back over to the group. I'm gonna start making. What are we doing? Replacing my potion real quick while so that's they're a, grabbing. That's an interesting uh, firearm you have there. I'm just gonna ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> be interested in learning more about its work. I'm gonna like put it together, put it in my little this little pouch where it goes, and then dust off my little trench coat. It's very cool. Uh, I'm very curious. Give about you a that. little glare, and then just right. go on my way. <laughs> we were headed southeast of here. Which is which direction at this point? Could I Look do a survival sun. check to see if I can figure out which way s- at least south is? Did you just yes. say Bible check? Sir. Sir. Oh, Bible. Bible. Uh-oh. <laughs> can we see if You're we really up, paranoid we about that church. <laughs> I get it, yeah. Uh, and try to determine if the sun is still, like, rising or setting and then use that. So when help. you look up, there's still remnants of the reality storm that's above. It's not that boiling, rolling, you know, storm that you saw, but it's enough up high where it seems to be blocking out to be able to get sun direction. Yes, you can attempt a survival to be able to try to orient yourself in direction-wise. So go ahead and roll. Everybody wants to roll can do it. Survival? Is the storm still moving? Can't tell this. It's present, but you really can't tell if it's you know moving in the same direction that it was. We're rolling survival. Is that what this is? Yes. Yeah. No, no, you no only idea. roll sixes, Barry. Woo! I know Ten, it is. 14. Not 10, 14. I'm pretty sure it's <coughs> one of these directions. <laughs> it, it, so it's, I'm a next two. Well, yes, I, yeah. I would say so. <laughs> you know, it, it's this way. Okay. <laughs> uh, not that way Can, or that way. Right. <laughs> I don't know if my person would. You guys know tech more. Maybe checking the helicopter may have some kind of directional ability. To there there could have been a compass on board or survival yeah. pack. I'm going to go back in and look for that. I'm going to go back and look as well. There absolutely would have been some sort of directional thing in the cockpit of the helicopter. So when you go in there and start looking, who's looking for that? I'm going to help. as well. Okay. So when you guys go in and start looking, you can you know, just kind of move, and all of a sudden you can see it just kind of clunk and yeah. just... The glass breaks and the housing unit kind of falls out. And if what about a survival bag or first aid well, bag? Can you pick it? Can, it's a compass, though. Can you pick it up? And well, usually no, it's, it's electronic. Like built into the actual yeah. like. Dash. That's why I was asking for an actual bag. So, but the thing is, what you know, the way that it just you know broke so easily, two things come to mind. It could have been damaged during the crash, or or the law of life is starting to it's be the increased decay. So it wouldn't be useful anyway. Wouldn't be useful Are anyway. the stars in the same place they were? We can't see we the can't sky. see through the, the, the storm. storm. We need to pick a direction. Is moss growing on the north side of the trees here? <laughs> which 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 way did the um, helicopter come down? If we look up at the canopy, like where it broke and seeing like the trees, did it come just straight down or did it kind of come down at an angle? Oh, good roll, thought. Roll evidence analysis. I have a 13 evidence analysis. Yeah, but in fairness. 12. 12. So as you kind of start looking and just looking at the break in the trees, you are positive that it was coming in at this angle. So you're able to figure out the angle of where the trajectory from where it fell. What you're not positive, though, is where, you know, like during the spin, if it that got knocked off course. You know which angle it fell in, but you can't tell if that's exactly from the position you're coming from. I'm just going to take a guess and say we just kind of continue in the direction. And is that contrary to the direction the Adenos were going? That is very good questions. So let's do a random. I'd say strength in numbers at this point. You guys mind if I tag along? Go for it. Yes, we're fine. The more the merrier at this point. From the direction it looks like the Adenos were traveling from, seems to be south from where... But we don't know what south is. But not exactly know what south is. So more of like south... Southeast. So if your trajectory was going, you know, like a straight path, more like down towards. So in relation to the helicopter? They were like a three o'clock of the direction we want to go? Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, okay. So like, I was thinking like in direction. Well, you said I remember the in direction they were to the taking, helicopter. So I could be like, we were going that way. So the helicopter crashed going in a straight line. We want to continue walking in the direction that the helicopter crashed. Mm-hmm. Yes. So if we walk that straight line, the Adenos were coming from like the three o'clock. From three o'clock. Okay. Yes. So they were right. walking like this way. All right, let's so head that way. We just want to avoid the right. Uh, we at least need, we just need to get to a point where we're out of the storm. I say maybe. we just continue on the way the helicopter, yeah. like yeah. in line yeah, yeah. with how it came yeah. down because its momentum is already, or whatever. Yeah. It, the way we're flying, that's going to keep going and pushing us. Yes. Yeah. So as long no as matter we're if we're spinning. We just, we just don't want to veer too far off I to think, the right of our of this right. course because the Adenos yeah. were coming from there. I think if we get that way, we can just keep an eye on the sky. Yeah. Is, 
we Wait get to a point where the up. storm clears up, we can use this sun and try to yep. use that as a agreed compass at that point. So you hear this conversation going on, you know, even though you offered out something earlier, they didn't really seem to acknowledge that as they continue this conversation. <laughs> 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 do you have anything that could help us? Anything that can help you? We need to go um, south. Do you know where we are? Do you have a map? I do not have a map. I know that their we leader is that way. Well, we're avoiding that way. Well, we're avoiding that way, right? I don't know what I said earlier that... Where were you captured? I was, I was captured about a day's travel from here. You said I've been walking. They've been pushing me around for about a day. Couple, couple days. So oh, you've been captured for a day. Did were you hear them talk, talk of anything? Where were you near when I spoke you... spoke a language I didn't understand, even though my internal circuitry will, <laughs> you know... Uh, translate most. As soon as he says, yeah, as soon as he says that, I'm gonna look at you and go internal. What? You know, like I look at you too. Like, I, like I start turning. I was like, yeah, there's a. She doesn't a, know what I'm talking a about. Something, something. <laughs> what does she not know? Lock three ear implant that you know. Haven't you heard of? <laughs> you know. Do you know where where were you close to when you were captured two days ago? Uh, do I know those approximate? You know, uh, I'm guessing those things moved me through the yes, bush like in a very, very and you specific way to where I'm well, not going to be able to retrace those steps. Well, you weren't going linear because you were trying right. to lose them, and okay. so you yeah. were going different. But they were not. You weren't able to lose them. So at some point, you know, I mean, despite yeah. your best, I tried to stay away from best I could, but they they closed in around me. And uh, so you wouldn't be able to retrace your steps to find out where you came from to get us back to wherever that is. I mean, I could try. I do have tracking. Uh, no, you I might be able to trips back the direction they were going six individuals and him well i definitely know which direction they were going i mean coming from coming from yeah, yeah which I we are, we know, know that, that direction yeah, we know that. generally okay so where did you start when they found you so yeah, that's so where i'm trying to find out where you were so we can get an idea of one location we know where it was well, let me ask this why are you guys headed to this birmingham burlington Bur- burlington it's a, it's a starting that's point for the next thing we need to do yep mm-hmm. oh, gotcha. and it would be an ability to get food water Yes. Uh, Supplies. Heal. Oh. Yeah. And on the note of heal, your thing. Life says that I can do it every scene. Are we in, or once per day? Are we in a new scene, or can I do it? And how does heal work? So we're not in a new scene, but we are at the end of the scene. So yes, you can make a test for make a, heal. Make a medicine or a first aid check because this is what Elias used to do. This. Yeah. yeah. So ultimately, it's a first aid check, and you're if you don't have first aid, then it's the based off the skill, and basically you're just using. I mean, this is the living land. The law of life tends to, you know, to, right. to be able to, to so heal. I, Elias was the one who did it before, but I'm going to ask: do, Can any of you guys sew this up for me? Basically, I'm going to see if anyone else can help me with first aid. I don't I've have, got good. Thir- unless I've got you want it to aid. look like. Some chewed up piece of meat. Um, Probably I, I, shouldn't I have already, you said you could. <laughs> so I'll try. I can mean, like, I can, like that, solder that, something that, close with my lightning. Uh, again, IRS. Right? Yeah. <laughs> First aid, fifteen. So yeah, it's dependent. So if you're successful, I think you heal. It's in the core book. It's it like up. certain amount of wounds. And yeah, depending on how good shock you were or at. something. If it was like um, outstanding. Exactly. Let's see here. And I'm assuming I can't quote unquote help by adding the plus one. That wouldn't make First sense. First aid. Here we go. Me. So a standard DN, 10, okay, plus the patient's current wound penalty is your target number. So 14, so it just made it. 12, I'm sorry, just made it. Standard success removes one wound and the KO condition. A good success removes two wounds and an outstanding success removes three. Oh, and any shock? No, the shock heals on its own pretty quickly. Right. Yeah, it's like So I'm, I'm, da- I'm still wounded by one, but good. Thank you. So one thing, too, is interesting about the laws in the living land is wounds always leave a scar. Always leave a scar. So if you remember, if everyone remembers my initial, I am scarred everywhere. Yeah. Now you got more scars. I, yeah, I don't even know if I would notice it. <laughs> I'm gonna pick uh, up one of the spears and say, I'm not picking up any radio signals in the area. I'm assuming uh, what? these are gonna come in handy. Right. Where would you pick you think up you're gonna pick up a radio signal with that? No, with this. I point to my head. But I'm like, yeah. I, mean, I think he spent his, like, too long about, here. <laughs> about the, you know, the implants I know about that he possibly has because of the... <laughs> and you're aware of cybernetics. I'm yeah. confused why the spear is going to help you. I think he I may think have it's going to be more useful here for us than the kinds of things can't, that... We can't rely uh, on the have. tech, so... Right. Gotcha. No, I just think he spent too long out here in the jungle, <laughs> middle of nowhere. He's, he's, been running, he's been running with the dinosaurs too long. <laughs> so that, that's what I'm going to say. My name is 921XL2, Vermilion. And when you hear Vermilion that, you may know numbers. what that is. The Vermilion models were these infiltrator models. Mm-hmm. You know, they were like infiltrator terminators, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I say, but my it. friends call me V, so <laughs> I have a host a of things that it. may be helpful in places other than this. So, so I think this may like be easier. a good way to go. 
So one thing that you do know is the church used these infiltration models to be able to infiltrate like covens like yours. So it's exactly mm -hmm. what they would think you would say. No, mm -hmm. no, I'm not. I'm not a traitor. <laughs> well, do you th so out of character? I know there's a resistance. I was part of the resistance, mm -hmm. and I must therefore be aware Dead that church. there's defectors in all compartments of the church. Like Ab absolutely, like congregation defects, the police defect, like maybe a priest defects. But so it's not unreasonable for me to believe that there's a church police defecting. So it's not unheard of. Mm -hmm. It's just rare. But the thing is, there is the oh shoot, what's the law for the cyber papacy? Where of like if law of uh, the one true law or whatever it is. It's basically, it's like the law of everyone is a fr you know like keeping an eye uh, suspicious of each other. In North Korea. Oh, it's the law of suspicion. <laughs> the law of suspicion. Yeah, law of suspicion. And so, and uh, because that is a prevalent law. What you would know from the resistance is like there are certain key phrases that you would put into just a benign question, or as you're talking with your hands, you'd make a little hand movement. And exactly. if he was true resistance, right. he would recognize and you know respond with the correct hand gesture or respond in his you know his response the the phrase that you're looking for. <laughs> Are you gonna like throw up a, like a command and you know challenge and uh, you know? So yeah. I, I start a conversation. So. Why'd you leave the church? And I do a, a, hand signal. Hand, a signal. fancy hand signal. And I say I didn't. Like I cross my hands with. I, I say, know, I, say I never left the church. I was captured by the resistance, and they reprogrammed me. Now I work with the resistance. Do you throw up the signal? And I throw up something that matches like, okay, that whatever yeah. she threw up. So how, how how do you feel about that? Like, do you recall? <laughs> Sorry, I'm. Right. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm just like she's. She I like it. No, no, the prayer hands. Yeah. She's holding her hands in prayer. That's kind of an interesting way to. Well, approach I'm, I'm really it's like a trauma response. response. I get that, but, but the visual is better because the other you, way. Especially because you changed your hand thing. <laughs> well, so I thought you were she's going. having Shut a trauma response. Shut up, Shannon. Go with what we think you're yes. doing. Yes. Yeah. 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 You, it worked. Awesome. You decide for me <laughs> what I'm doing. It worked. <laughs> but you, you know, I'm confused because he was like, "Yeah, I used to be a Bible thumping bigot robot, and now I'm not." <laughs> so, and he threw you the signal. So he, yeah, so but what, I, what he told you, but he did give you the proper response that yeah. you were waiting for. So he's say, one of you. I say, look at my neural jack. Right, it's not standard like, issue. Can I show it to you? I inspect the neural jack. Like no, not a it's thing to say. <laughs> I appreciate the hack job. Well, uh, so <laughs> roll this analysis. Did he say that in front of ladies? <laughs> right. Let me show you my neural jack. <laughs> exactly. Come here. <laughs> hey, put that thing away. Should no. I no. turn away? Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to assist her in identifying why oh, it isn't cool. standard, if that helps. The neural jacks here. Yeah, look, it's not, you know. <laughs> I mean, so she's familiar with the neural jack, <laughs> but she's not recognizing what exactly that you're trying to tell her. I'm going to look at dumb. Ayara. What I'm trying to tell you is that, I, you know, I used to be one of the bad guys. Now I'm one of the good guys, and I see why. You know, and I appreciate the fact that that is my reality at this point. Are you okay with being reprogrammed? Well, at the time, I guess I didn't really have a choice, but I'm settling into my new <laughs> surroundings quite nicely, actually, because... I don't support Malra's agenda. Uh, what he's doing is not right. Then how'd you end up here? I was deployed here. By who? By the resistance. For what reason? The ver our, my programming deploys me into environments as a solo asset. I don't typically run as part of a team. What's your goal? My goal is to accomplish the goals of the resistance. And the goal of this mission was to uh, recon and collect intelligence. There we go. Okay, okay. So you think you're so strong that they let you run solo, huh? Uh, I've not well, heard of his, his infiltration yet. Yes. My friends, I realize that we, we need should to keep the military other on the way. I do need to ask, <laughs> are you comfortable with bringing him along? Azrael. Since you know I'll keep an eye on him. We all need to keep an eye on him. No offense. I will keep an eye on you as well. <laughs> Very good. So we've chosen which way, Evangeline? That, that way. That That's way. way. And on the go. Go. So as Point. you guys kind of start heading off with an uneasy alliance with V, we are going to wind down this session. All right. Thank you for joining us on another NCRP Productions podcast. We couldn't do this without you, so please like and subscribe everywhere we're found, including YouTube, Facebook, Anchor, Google, Apple, Spotify, and other great podcast sites. If you'd like to help us continue making more content, we'd love to have your support on our Patreon. And we'd like to give a special shout out to our current patrons, our Siegson Employees of the Month, Michael H., Greg K., F.S., and our Breaker of Seals, Frank H., Christopher C., 
Matthew K. Thank you all. We truly, truly appreciate it. And a very special thanks to our fantastic artist, Jacob Blackman, who you can reach on his Patreon under his name or DeviantArt under the name Prodigy Duck. 